Okay, we're going to go over how to do a skew mesh really quick um, while staying in max the whole time. Um, first of all, the reason you do this is to prevent uh, really bad skewing of items like bolts that are um, put on the flat surfaces like this. So first off, let me make sure these are lined up reasonably well. Okay. So what we're going to do here is use this low poly and the high poly. And we're going to do a little trick. So we take the low poly and copy it. Normal copy, we'll call this LP original. Okay. And we'll hide that for now. So and this we'll call the skew mesh. So go down to tessellate and set the tension to zero. And let's uh, let's go up to level three. So we got a lot of marks here, right? Okay. So now we hit zero to bring up the bake um, panel. Delete that. We will add our normal map. And so let's put this into here. We'll call this uh, normal object space. So object or normal space. Or uh, I'm sorry, local space. Uh, so let's set this to 2048. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll pick the high poly. Let that process for a second. Okay. Reset our cage and just kind of push it out a little bit. This is really bad, so you can spend some time with your cage. Um, but it'll work for the tutorial. So then you come up here to options and you change it from tangent to local, right? Under normal map space, you make it local XYZ. And also make sure to set up right here under render settings. Make sure you set Catmull ROM and normal. Uh, normally you'd want Hammersley at 1 or 0.5, but just to make it a bit quicker, I'm going to set it to max 2.5. So we will render. And we can see that gets stuck. Okay, so you can see immediately that. Uh, you know, we have really nice looking bolts here and they're not skewed. They're not pushed out in any direction or anything like that. So then we'll come back in, convert that, and let's hide the high poly. And then let's unhide the original LP. So let's, uh, let's set this thing's cage to blue and the original will stay black. Okay, so now we select the skew mesh, come over here, bump, set this to 100. We'll come in, we'll pick normal bump and bitmap. And we will put our object space map on here. Okay, so let me just hide everything real quick so you can get a look at that. So there it is on the skew mesh, see that? So come up one, set it to local XYZ. Okay, get rid of that. And uh, so if we do that, you can kind of see it on there. So this is the normal map on the skew mesh. Now, let me unhide the low poly again. Okay, so we'll select that. And then we'll hit zero again, bring this up. We will add a normal map. 
let's make this normal tangent space. Okay. So we'll come back under options and we'll make sure it's set to tangent, which it should be. So we'll enable and we will pick the skew mesh. Come over here, you're going to see the uh, cage. You can kind of reset that and just kind of bump it up a tiny bit. Doesn't need to be much. Whoa, that's a bit high. Okay, like right there. So, and again, let's set this to 2048. Make sure that the render settings are decent. Yep, Catmull ROM 2.5 is all right. Again, you're probably going to want to use Hammersley. Um, if you start getting little dots all over your normal map, just turn off the filter map. Uh, but let's see how this renders out for now. Okay, yeah, there's the dot problem. So I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to turn off the filter map. And let's try one more time. Okay, so what this is doing is it's taking the local space map from the other one, and it's projecting a tangent space map onto your actual low poly. And you should mess with this a little bit to make sure that, you know, the settings come out better and, you know, you don't have problems like this. Um, Hammersley will fix a lot of those issues, actually. So then when that's done, you can... You can come over here, take your new tangent space map. And you can apply it to your model. Make sure this is set to tangent. And voila, you should get a pretty decent uh, bake. Of course, this resolution is kind of crappy, but um, you'll be able to see that there's no skewing of any of the elements.